Now, there are many reasons for buying a car. Necessity, practicality, fun, or just plain showmanship. But what if money is no object? Well, you could buy a Porsche or a Ferrari, but that would be slightly predictable. What if you wanted something that was just as expensive, but a whole lot more discreet? Well, for me, you can forget the Lexus, the Audi and the Jag. There's only one car to be seen in when you have pots of money and, more importantly, pots of style, and that is the Mercedes S-Class. Before the launch of this generation S-Class in 1998, one of the biggest complaints of early models was the car's size. They weren't just big, they were barges and were just about as discreet as a Mancunian scally shopping in Harrods. Thankfully, the current car is a big improvement. It's smaller, lighter, sleeker and definitely much more stealthy. But what isn't so unnoticeable, however, is the car's price. The entry-level 280 would be yours for a reasonable 45 grand. But if you're feeling particularly flush, how does 87 grand sound for the 600 limousine? However, you do get an awful lot of toys for your money. Pretty much everything in here is electric, as you'd expect, and it is the least exhausting car I've ever been in. But I do like some of the extras and toys that you can't see, especially the car's crash protection. It works in tandem with the ESP and the braking system, and what it does is it tries to anticipate if the car is going to be in a crash. If it thinks it is, it pretenses your seat belts, it closes the sunroof if it's open, and even moves the driver and the passenger's seats so that you get maximum protection if the car is in an impact. How good is that? For such a big car, all-round performance is amazing. For a start, the 3.2-litre diesel will get you to 60 in a shade under 8 seconds, while the 6-litre V12 will smash the sub-5-second barrier. Who wants a Ferrari now? And don't worry if you end up at a bend a little too quickly because the S-Class is more than capable thanks to the airmatic suspension. Now, if you are planning to buy an S-Class, running costs may not be your first priority, but trust me, they are significant. For a start, you should avoid the AMG models, as they lose value quicker than the rest of the range. Plus, insurance groupings are high, as are the CO2 emissions, so watch out for those nasty tax bills. Well, John, what more can I say? No, what more can I say? If you want a car that offers and does absolutely everything and doesn't make you stand out like a sore thumb, then the S-Class is the car for you. You know, you could offer me all three of the cars you've got there in a swap deal for this, and I still wouldn't take it. So, if you want to sort out the also-rans, I'm off for a cruise in the very best. See you, John.